Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here from MrHardware.com showing how to repair a toilet that's leaking very slightly but all the time in the back near these bolts. When a toilet is bolted from the tank to the bowl, there's a gasket set that goes on there. And they give you all the washers and bolts you need to assemble it. Very important, this system uses a subnut system where there's two nuts involved. This old toilet only had one nut on each side that held the tank to the bowl. And the new system is going to employ a sub nut. So we tack, knock out the old nut and washer that was in there. And what there is is there's a brass bolt, a rubber washer, and it went into the tank and it relied on the nut down here under the bowl. Problem is, if someone wiggled the tank, when this got old and this washer cantered, it would start to drip and it wouldn't reseal itself. So the new system is, you have the same brass bolt, you got the same rubber washer. So when this bolt goes in, it's got a stainless flat washer and a hex nut. When you put this assembly on and tighten it, this bolt is made watertight to the bowl while it is still on the kitchen table. So we can come back and we tighten this just tight enough until we see that washer pucker a little on the inside. That rubber washer on that brass bolt and I tightened it until it just started to pucker. So I know I am going brass, rubber, china. There's no metal flat washer in the tank. Very common mistake, people put a metal washer on first. Do not do this. The water can leak between the two metals. When this goes into the bowl, it has to be rubber only. Brass, rubber, china. Then when you tighten it at the bottom and it's secure, you can see this is now watertight. So when I put it back on the bowl, that old Uncle Harry comes over and he rocks the toilet. This bolt won't break free because it's watertight to the bowl as it moves. This is secured. I'm ready to put this back on the bowl. Click here to watch my video on how to properly assemble this tank to the toilet bowl. Quick tips from MrHardware.com.